What is going on, guys? This is Ben. You bring another Brawl Stars video. Hopefully, you are excited. We have a new free brawler. We have a lot of different game modes coming in this new update. So, we're going to break down everything you need to know about this new brawler and whatever else. So, this update is crazy. Brawloween is going to definitely be hyped. We've got a lot of new skins, but let's get into this. So, first and foremost, we have the new environment called Mortis Mortuary. Uh, basically, it's going to take over some of the maps and it's going to have like tombstones. It's going to be a darker themed, which is awesome. It fits the Halloween theme. But we also have a new game mode which is graveyard shift this is basically going to be like the life leech from the past if you guys played brawl stars in beta or from whatever and you remember what life leech is it's basically the exact same for those of you that are new players and have never heard of this game mode basically as soon as you spawn in on showdown you are going to be losing life and the only way to heal up is by dealing damage to other brawlers. And then if you actually end up defeating or killing another brawler, you get fully healed. So it's a really good, like I love this game mode because it's basically anti-teamers for sure. There is no benefit to teaming in this game mode because you're gonna die eventually and if you need to deal damage to other brawlers to obviously survive. So really happy that it's back. Uh, this kind of has a little twist though. You can see how the brawlers are kind of like mini camouflage or mini invis. You can still make the outline of the brawler, but I think that's a cool touch for like the, the Halloween and spooky theme here. But you can also play this game mode in Duo Showdown, which is going to add a different dynamic because like if your teammate's about to spawn, they're going to be at full health and the other brawlers might be hurting a little bit. So also the new environment might take over like the showdown maps other than this one too. So we'll have to wait and see, but I'm really happy that Life Leech is back. And then now... We have what everyone wants to hear about, the new free Brawler M's. So they did tease this Brawler, obviously, in the animation. She was the, the mummy Brawler in, in the swamp picture and all that stuff. So M's is coming. You get her for free at 8,000 trophies on the trophy road. I was expecting the next Brawler to be a mythic, but they seem to have added it to the trophy road. That's fine. She's free. All you got to do is push up to 8,000 trophies. I mean, all you got to do. That, that can be difficult for some people, um, or for a lot of people, actually. So... Still, it's really cool that we got 8-bit now and M's for free recently, but everything you need to know about her is at max level, she is going to have 5,040 HP, so she's going to be a little bit on the tanky side. Her main attack is like a hairspray moving cloud. So we basically have all of her mechanics as well, but this cloud is interesting because it's very slow moving, but then at the, at the max of its range, it kind of pauses for a second and then it kind of dissipates. But if a brawler is standing in that, it's gonna deal damage over time. And then it's going to like, basically, if you're in it for a long time, it's gonna deal even more damage. So it seems as though it goes in damage increments of an initial impact, it does 700 damage per second. And then if you're in it for a little while, it does 840 damage per second. And then if you get in there for three ticks, it's going to deal 980 damage per second as shown on that Pam that just got bodied there by it. So it's going to be good for control. It's kind of like a slow moving Poco attack in a way you can think of it. But it also, it's kind of interesting. It's like we really haven't seen this attack before. Um, so it's going to like linger on the map, which is good for crowd control and area of effect stuff like for pushing brawlers back, for not going into a space. So that could be really broken. Now it's not a huge like punch in the face, a lot of damage up front. But still, that is going to melt and going to be difficult to deal with with a lot of like the squishy brawlers. I feel like she's going to be really easy to play because of that fact. Now her super, this is what I'm very scared of. <laughs> her super is like this huge, basically it's the same size as Sandy super. But this super follows, like basically she's the center of it. It's like everything else is following around it. And if you are in that, it deals 280 damage per second. And... Basically, if you're in it, it slows you. So, if you are up close to this brawler, you're gonna get slowed, it's gonna deal damage. This super is gonna be amazing for checking like where brawlers are in bushes and just and basically locking down an area so brawlers cannot go in. It's gonna be good for finishing off. At first, right now, it is dealing 280 damage per second. If we learned anything from Rude, Rude Sands, that is way too much damage. This super is going to be broken absolutely broken so i hope they tone down the damage on the super a little bit because we learned from rude sands with sandy was 200 damage even with a super like that was way too much it's, it deals too much damage and it seems as though this super does last six seconds which is kind of crazy it's five or six seconds so now for modes that ems is going to be really good in it's obviously like the team game modes i could see everybody being pretty good in brawl ball as well especially with that slow slow down the enemies and let your teammates run wild uh, she's gonna be very good in like pairing with other brawlers like 
range brawlers that maybe need brawlers to be slowed down. She's got that tankier side, so she can be a little menace running at them. So gem grab, I can see it could be brawl ball. Not so much in heist. Um, I don't think she'll be great in heist. In siege, I think she'll be okay in, but obviously those rotations are you barely see the you barely see those now. Uh, takedown. Takedown typically favors the brawlers that are like really able to do a ton of damage, which mm, her not so much, but she could be able to slow down the boss and keep it to her range. Uh, Lone Star, we'll have to wait and see. I do think she's gonna be pretty decent in Showdown and all that stuff. So, predictions I feel like she's gonna be a very good brawler. Um, and for being for free at 8,000 trophies, a lot of you're gonna be able to get her, and a lot of you're gonna be able to enjoy her early. So let me know what your first initial thoughts are on M's and the mechanics of her. I guess that's like the biggest worry for me is her super with that slow and that damage, and its radius is basically the same as Root Sands was. Uh, it's obviously it's it's like half the time um, of what Sandy super is, but. I don't know, I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for that super. Now we do have a bunch of skins as well that they revealed. We have Witch Shelly, which looks really cool. Uh, we do have Werewolf Leon. Leon gets some love. I'm gonna have to update my Leon hat here. Gonna get, have to get into a werewolf. No more Shark Leon. We do have Piper Calavera, Skeleton Piper basically. Um, they said this is releasing on Day of the Dead. We don't know when Witch Shelly and Werewolf Leon are releasing. That could be on update day. We'll have to wait and see, but still really cool. And then we do have Shadow Knight Jesse. In the Brawl Talk, they called it Dark Knight Jesse, but I think it's going to be officially Shadow Knight Jesse as a star skin. And this does, this does just look to be like a recolor of the Dragon Knight Jesse, so probably probably gonna be between 500 and a thousand star points and then we didn't hear any indication that Pam would be getting a rework but we heard that Frank is getting the redesign so Frank is getting the remodel and then he also is getting a skin it is going to be the DJ Frank skin and then the last piece of information we got in the brawl talk is there is another new game mode called power play this unlocks for you once you get your first max brawler and then what this kind of game mode seems like it is is you can play it three times per day it seems as though if you win you get like a cup or like a little mini i don't know it looks like a lone star trophy and then it seems you probably if you win you get one or something i don't know the exact parameters of it but basically it's going to be a leaderboard for that and then it's going to measure where you are in the leaderboard and at the end of the season you are going to get star points for where you were on that leaderboard. First place is going to get a total of 50,000 star points. That's ridiculous. So I don't know, like I, I don't know the exact parameters for how this is also gonna work out. It seems as though you play your three matches, the higher you up in the leaderboard, the more star points you are going to get at the end of the season, which is awesome because, hey, once you get a max brawler, basically, guess what? You can get more star points then, and then you can use those star points to try and get more mega boxes or skins or whatever you want. And that's really exciting because, hey, I know a lot of us need to get still Sandy. I know a lot of us need to get other brawlers and help the max out their way. So getting more star points quickly is awesome. But other than that, let me know your thoughts on everything. What are you most excited for? Keep in mind, any of the stats shared um, is probably all subject to change, but it is from the Brawl Talk. So pretty close probably to an update very soon here. Probably within the week, maybe next week. We'll have to wait and see. It seems as though after a Brawl Talk, they tend to get the updates out very quickly. So I'm excited. I hope you are as well. Now, I do need to do some trophy pushing before the end of the season here. So I'm gonna do some matches. I, I have a lot of my brawlers like 600 um, already. I wanna get all of them to 600 before the end of the season to maximize my star point gain. So we're gonna play Tara here. We're gonna play a cute angle. Let's get into this here. So yeah, that match did not go as we planned. Let's see how this one goes. I like the team comp. We got a Poco, which is strong right now. A Piper, but it is gonna maybe be tough to deal with the Mortis. I mean, not like that. If they keep running at us like that, we can win any day. So, Pogo getting those. If I get my super, I guess it'll work. Oh my gosh, that Piper is so strong right now. She's probably gonna get nerfed. She is ridiculous, dude, but um, going in. Okay. I'm not really helping my team at the moment. I'm trying. Got my super now, though. Pogo has the heal me up star power. Their bull, I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna drag that Mortis away. That was probably not a not prime drag by any means. 
But Crow, he's gonna obviously super me. But I wasn't able to get him. So, at least his super is down so he can't jump in on our poke over or anything. I don't know if that was worth the risk going for him. Oh no. Hopefully you come back. I'll get you. To survive. Taking care of everyone is not the freaking Mortis, dude. Dang, dude. That's unfortunate. Oh, they were really extended forward. We got double drags, but we weren't able to take anyone out. Alright, so at least we got him out for now. It's all Mortis. That's what we need to worry about. Drag him. Got him. Let's go, dude. The clutch drags. Let Poco get the gems. Poco, grab another gem. Okay. We can defend now. Mortis, you got nothing. Well, if you keep running at him, Poco, you never know. Okay, but we got it for sure. Good super there. The clutch comebacks paid off in the end. So, obviously, we're not there yet. But we're still a couple of matches away from 600, which shouldn't be too difficult. Just a couple of brawlers I've left to get 600, which isn't anything crazy. But I'm just trying to maximize my star points. Because who knows in the future if we get anything where star points we could use for something amazing. So, I think it's more amazing i should say but thank you guys so much for watching let me know what you guys are most excited for again subscribe stay tuned for all the brawl stars update stuff sneak peeks whatever you're gonna see it here first remember for this update be sure to use code bt1 or any content creator codes in the shop this is the first update where creator codes are live so i know a lot of you're gonna be jamming make sure they're going to one of the content creators to support us because it doesn't cost you anything extra so it helps us out a lot but thanks for watching subscribe and i'll see you guys later